I'm sitting down for a conversation with Lionel Strang on Ron's Trains and Things right now. Hi, I'm Ron of Ron's Trains and Things, and if you'd like to see more model railroading tips, tools, and techniques, then be sure and subscribe below and click that little bell icon so you can catch future videos. Many of you probably know the name Lionel Strang. You may know him from his very famous HO layout, the Allegheny, Lackawanna, and Southern. You may know him for the many years that he wrote as a contributing editor in Model Railroader magazine, or for the two project layouts that he built for that magazine. Or you may know him currently as the host of the podcast, A Modeler's Life. Well, recently I had the opportunity to sit down with my friend Lionel and talk to him about his podcast, about the state of model railroading today, and about his own model railroading background and experience. We had a lot of fun, and I think you'll enjoy this conversation. So come and join Lionel and I right now as we talk together about model railroading. You've been all over the train show interviewing people. I have been. So, and here I am interviewing you. Yeah, exactly. We're interviewing Lionel Strang today here at the National Train Show. Uh, We've been at the convention all week. We've kind of been together off and on Um, through the week. We've been sitting there having sodas and watching the people go by. Yeah. What what's uh, what what do you say is your biggest takeaway? What, what's the been the most interesting, most exciting thing maybe you've seen this week at the convention or at the train show? Uh, the number, the amount of real rail traffic in Kansas City. It's incredible. It's it is a lot unbelievable. Of it. I have a friend, Shane Mason, a young guy, he's 21 years yeah. old. Apparently the hobby's not dying just yet. He's <laughs> only 21. Yeah. And he lives here. And he took us to what they call it, Santa Fe Junction. Santa Fe Junction, yeah. Unbelievable. And and I, I was standing there, and a train came by, and then a train went across on the middle bridge, and then a train went across. And I said to the guys, I said, if this was on a layout, you'd go, no, there's no way. That's this not prototypical. Yeah, that's right. not prototypical. <laughs> it was like it was like standing on a four by eight layout. Yeah. It was unbelievable. It's crazy, isn't it? So that was probably my highlight, and then of course all the people you meet. So, I mean, it was fun meeting you, like we talked and I had interviewed you, but it was fun to actually meet and we hit it off so well. And Yeah, we've had a, had a good time this week, and you've introduced me to a lot of guys this week that I didn't know that I've been right? really enjoyed getting to know. So. Uh, and you've been, you, you interviewed, and all you're doing is you're going around and only interviewing N-Scale people. That's right, just N-Scale, because N-Scale's <laughs> taking over the world. That's the, that's it what I tell people so well. we Normal went, scale. So. Yeah, we went to John Percy, I think his name was John Percy's layout. Uh-huh, yeah. And he had a beautiful layout, and man, did it run good. Run sharp, yeah. And scale, ran beautiful, and yeah. he was modeling Buffalo and Pittsburgh. I, I operated this week on uh, uh, John Atchison's yes. in-scale layout, and I think that's probably the best running in-scale layout for one that size right. I've ever been on. And, I forgot what he called it, but he told me of a new solution he's using to clean his track. And he says, you know, I put it on there once and I haven't cleaned my track in a month. And I, I don't wow. think we had a, an engine, you know, stop for dirty Jeez. track once all that's, night. That's cool. It's that's amazing. cool. So it's and now other layouts, what other, you've operated other layouts, haven't you? Uh, I operated on his. I uh, operated a little bit on uh, Stephen Atwell's. In yes. fact, I'm going back out there uh, again. He's a, friend of, he's a friend of yours. A friend of mine and uh, owner of Midwest Model Railroad, uh, the hobby shop, online hobby shop. Put in a good word uh, for me, right? I will. I will. You should come. He's going to serve food. But you've got the... T- tonight we have my... Concept. Yeah, so I started this podcast. For any of you who don't know, go to a modelerslife.com. And it's just an audio podcast that you can listen to in your car. You don't have yeah. to sit and stare at the screen like you have to with him. You won't have to look at me. That's the that's the beauty. <laughs> yeah, you only have to listen to me. <laughs> right. So let's talk about the podcast a little bit. How long have you been doing a modeler's life now? I started almost four years ago, exactly. And I started just because... I was on another podcast called Model Rare Radio, and I thought, I want to talk to people about their lives as well as their model Model, railroading. Because model railroading is the glue. Like, you can have a guy that's a brain surgeon, and if if he's modeling the same thing as a guy that's just as good a, a person, but maybe uh, opera, you know, maybe he's the manager of the local McDonald's, which right. is not a bad thing at all. Right. But they're two people that live in two separate lives. Right. If they're modeling the Southern Pacific, all of a sudden they become friends. Right. And that's the beauty of it. So I wanted to talk to people about their life as well as model railroading. So that that's is, what I started. That's fascinating. I just, while ago, I ran into Walt of Walt's World on YouTube. 
and Walt's from Denver, and he literally is a rocket scientist. Yeah. And he does model railroading. And I, I don't know where else in the world I would have ever met a rocket scientist, uh, but but he's a fascinating yeah. guy, and I've enjoyed getting to know him a little bit, and we share the interest of model railroaders. I did one layout tour this week. It was in the same area, and I won't name names, but there was there was one that was in a, a, a huge layout in this mansion of a hundred year old mansion of a house. Right. This guy, I don't know what he does. He's obviously right. a lawyer, a doctor, or something. something. And then there was one in a, a little house that was very small, and it was an right. old house, and you know. Uh, and then the, the third one, somewhere kind of in between. And these three guys are like best friends in model railroading, and they go to each other's layouts and help yeah. each other build as well as operating together. Right as different as far as backgrounds are yes. concerned as they could possibly be, but all brought together as friends because of Model Railroad. And that's what my podcast is about. It's about the people. And and every single time when we're talking, we always come back to the same glue that joins us all together, which is Model Railroad, which is, I think, a way bigger hobby than I thought it was when I started the podcast. Yeah. And I mean, I interviewed a guy. He's a pastor. Uh, at a church, a First Baptist Church in Eureka, El Dorado Springs, know, El Dorado Springs <laughs> Missouri. Missouri, and uh, he was a really interesting guy. Not like you. And and so, someday you'll actually air that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've interviewed some really interesting people from a lot of different aspects of the hobby too. I mean, some modelers, but also people who are in the industry into yes. the hobby and uh, some of the different uh, vendors and, and manufacturers. And I became really good friends. I was just talking to him. Sorry, did I cut you off there? Uh-huh. <laughs> no, you're fine. <laughs> How come you and I have become, you and I are like gonna be friends now for life. Well, like kindred spirits. I know. If, if men can say yeah, that, I don't know. Yeah, 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 sorry. <laughs> Don't tell anybody no. said that. <laughs> we'll, we'll edit that out. Yeah. So, yes, Blaine Hadfield, who used yeah. to work for Exact Rail, now owns a company called Arrowhead Models. Mm -hmm. I was just talking to him and, I mean, another. And they just made their first product yes. announcement this week. Very wasn't it? excited, yes. Yeah. And he didn't know if he was going to get his product. But, so he doesn't have a booth, but he's walking around and people are selling them and stuff. So it's all very, very. So, yeah, I, aside from people that are. Model railroaders, he's a manufacturer, but so many of the manufacturers got their start as hobbyists. Yeah. You know. Well, that makes sense. I mean, especially some of the smaller manufacturers. Yes. Which right now, I think, are the absolute cutting edge of the hobby. Oh, man. I mean, you know, some of the smaller guys like scale trains, I mean, yeah. they're huge right now. Tangent. Yeah. Uh, Arrowhead, I think, is going to be also. Oh, yeah. Because they are raising the bar so high above where it's been yeah. as far as detail, uh, you know, what's happening with, with the sound and, and in the technology. And that's really being driven by a lot of these little guys who were modelers. They're like, I yeah. want more. Yeah. And so they just went out and created it. Yeah, found out how to do it. And everybody has the avail availability now to, you know, like you look at my little setup for doing audio or what we're doing here. I mean, you don't, you can carry it around. It's all changed and we're going to grow the hobby like great. I'm convinced of that. Yeah. Maybe I'm way out in left field and 20 years from now, be everybody will be going, Lionel had no idea what he was talking about. But I just, I just feel like it's, like, you know, you look at you and me. We probably never would have met had we not lived in the age that we live in now. Right, right. And now we're going to be you know, You know how we really met? No, I forget. I, I remember. You brought because me. Because you were interviewed on YouTube Model Builders. Right. And I made a comment, and Big Bill read the comment, and you said, Ron's trains and things, your videos are awesome. That's and right, I'm like, I I've got to get to know him. That's right, that's <laughs> right. I was being interviewed, that's right. And I was dead. And your I videos sent you a Facebook message right after that saying, and remember, Thanks. and do you remember what I replied? Uh, I don't remember exactly what you I replied. I said, "Don't bother me." <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy, kid. Don't bother me. <laughs> you got the wrong number. Don't yeah. ever call here again. Yeah. How'd you get my number? <laughs> All right. Uh, so, how's your layout coming? My layout is uh, is coming. It's it, it's slow, but uh, of course, I'm doing the video thing. I'm videoing everything I do, right. and so, a that helps keep me consistently working on the layout. Right. Uh, but it also takes some time from, from the layout. Uh, but I'm at the stage now where I'm just about ready to be able to start doing some real operations. That will be uh, cool. Got the track, you know, is, is all laid and pretty well tested and secure. And I'm working on getting my, all my car cards, you know, together. Right. And 
And now I just got to get some guys, maybe from right here around Kansas City, who'd be willing to drive the two hours down to operate. Do you, do you think this there's anybody thing? in your town of uh, Eureka Springs, Missouri, that's uh, interested? El Dorado Springs. El Dorado I, Springs. I know it's Springs. It's, it's going to take me a while. Yeah, Eureka Springs is in Arkansas. Oh, yeah, we yeah. call that a foreign country. <laughs> that's the, um, I, I have no model railroaders that I'm aware All of. Right. In my, I do have a guy in town, and this is always exciting. He was uh, not here interviewing me again. Uh, <laughs> Who was a uh, career military? Yeah, and he spent a lot of time in Germany and became interested in model railroading while he was in Germany. Okay, and has a great collection of German in scale uh, model right. railroad equipment. Uh, but it's never done any operation. But right. he's talking about building a building and starting to build a wow. layout. And I'm like, hey, he's the guy you I'm want to get guy. over because those guys, right. you bring them over, they do operation, and they go. I didn't oh, wow. know this was part of that. Right, hobby. yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm excited about that. Well, let me ask you about your modeling, because we haven't talked about that at all. I never hear you talk about it. Uh, tell me a little bit about your modeling and where you are right now with... Okay, well, I had a HO scale layout called the Allegheny and Lackawanna Southern, uh -huh. which actually I'm very proud of, was on the cover of Model Railroad three times. And uh, because and they taught that taught me, that was the other part, because that taught me how to improve my writing skills being with right. those guys, right. which is another thing that, you know. So it was an HO layout based in uh, the, uh, the Western Maryland sub Elkin subdivision, Thomas subdivision of the Western Maryland. And I ran, I had it for several years. And then I forget why, but I got away from running it for about a year. And then when I went back, we had operating every month and a little bit. And I got away from it for some reason or other. And when I went back, I thought, you know, this layout's kind of old and it's gonna take a lot to get it going. So then I just took it down. So now, but then I got into the audio thing and that, but now I'm thinking I might do O scale, but I'm also excited about N scale. Like there's so much cool stuff out there. There is, that's. I think that's I will true. always be, I think I'll always be uh, like a freelance. I don't think I'm a prototype guy, but uh, yeah, if I start up again, I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be cool. That's, I, I've been an N scaler for a long time, but. Someday I want to do an HO in three layout yeah. in the 19th century, like the 19, I mean not 19, the 1870s. Yeah. You know, run yeah. little, you know, four yeah, four yeah, hours yeah, and, yeah. and uh, flat land and short trains and slow paced. And I just think it'd be a lot of fun to do. Did you go to? See, I just remembered. Did you go? Don't edit any of this. Uh, this is gold, Joe. This is gold. <laughs> Uh, did you go to Jim U. Daly's layout? No, I didn't get there. Here's this beautiful old scale layout in a dedicated outbuilding. And Jim U. Daly is the father of Kevin U. Daly, who owns White River Productions. Mm, oh, yeah. And he yeah. has this, like, 60 by 80 foot O scale layout. Right. And man, oh, man. Uh, that's yeah. why I'm thinking of O scale. Right. O scale is neat. O, and, and, well, like ON30, yes. Miles Hale. Did you, you saw Miles Hale's yes. layout this week. I'm looking forward to I'm going over there tomorrow. I've seen it several times, but as I've seen it, he's always been preparing yeah. for this show, so I can't <laughs> wait to see what it looks like once it was prepared for the show. And, and then he's got a little backyard full of uh, G gauge, oh, and then he's yeah. got another seven and a half inch gauge you can ride. Yeah. Like that never sits still. Yeah. Ever. That's true. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoyed it. All right. Appreciate when do, having you on. So the when show. do I get the check? Um, it's in the mail. All right. So watch for it. <laughs> Well, as you could probably tell, Lionel and I had a lot of fun in that conversation together and also spending some time together off and on throughout the National Model Railroad Association's convention and national train show this year. Lionel is a great guy, and if you haven't found his podcast, A Modeler's Life, then you need to go check that out. He broadcasts a free episode every Monday, and he also has episodes that you can get if you support him through his Patreon account. I'm going to include a link to A Modeler's Life in the description down below. Check out his podcast as he interviews some great model railroaders, manufacturers, and others who are connected to this great hobby. And while you're in the description down below, I hope you take a moment to check out my Amazon page and my Amazon pick of the week, as well as my own Patreon page and the links there to how you can connect with me on social media. Well, be sure and join me again next Tuesday as I'll be bringing you another great Model Railroad segment, and I look forward to seeing you then.
So when do we start? Have uh, we started now? Well, it's recording now. Oh, the red button's on. Yeah, so, you know, we'll, we'll edit this okay. part out. Okay, so we're here now with Ron Marsh think, of Ron's I'm, Strings. I'm the one supposed to be doing this interview, not you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm interviewing so you now. So tell me, Ron. 